So you want to play Outriders on Steam Deck with Steam OS, but at the moment you can't. Oh, don't blame you, it's an awesome game and with the upcoming update it's going to draw a lot of people back in, so you definitely want to be able to play on Steam Deck. So what are the issues? Well, officially this is unsupported and it's unsupported thanks to anti-cheat. Fortunately, there is an easy fix and it will take you around 5 minutes to do this depending on your typing speed. Other issues to note, if you try to run it in DirectX 12, it's a 90% chance it will lock up on launch, as you can see here, and it does not recover, so you have to force close it. The main issue, if you run it in DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 does manage to run by some miracle, then when you try to connect to the services, you will get the anti-cheat error, saying failed to create the iGame client. Now, as I said, this is actually incredibly easy to fix, but the first thing you need to do is switch over to desktop mode and locate your install folder. This will depend on whether you're installed on the internal storage or on your SD card. So if you are on the internal storage, you can find the install file that we need here under home.local share steam steam apps and then common. In here you'll find the Outriders folder and then you need to go into the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. But as you can see I don't have it installed on my local here, I've got it on the SD card. So for the SD card you need to scroll down to Primary or whatever your SD card is called. And then there'll be a Steam Apps folder and then Common. And once again now we'll see the Outriders folder and then you need to go into the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. Now in ProtonDB, thanks to users, this is how I managed to figure out this fix, but they say to nick the file from the install of Apex Legends, which I've already done, and I've just copied the file, and I've left a link in the description below for a direct link to download this easy anti-cheat file. But if you don't trust links on the internet in general, I promise it's safe. But if not, then you'll need to download Apex Legends and go and grab this file from their Easy Anti-Cheat folder in the similar path, but for Apex Legends. Once you've got that file, just drop it into the Outriders Easy Anti-Cheat directory and then load up the game in the library as you'll need to add some launch options as well. So once we go into the properties of Outriders in Steam, under the launch options, you need to enter dxvk underscore async equals one. This will prevent a load of the stutter issues and caching issues in the game. Space game mode run or one word space and then percent command percent. This will make sure that the game mode runs without the caching issues. Lastly you need to set the compatibility to either Proton Experimental or 17.6 or above. Now Experimental should be on everybody's here so is the quick easy option. Once you've done that I'm just going to run it from desktop mode so that you can just see the quick fix. But make sure you pick DirectX 11 as that is the most stable version. DirectX 12 does crash for me 90% of the time. And once you launch in DirectX 11 with that file in the right place, you'll notice that when we connect to the backend services, it now just logs you in. And now you can play Outriders to your heart's content. Now settings wise, just to round this off, I did set everything to medium so that I was able to get 60 frames per second. If you are going to cap this at 40 or 50 in game, it does work exceptionally well and you could probably push some of those to high. But on the Steam Deck screen, medium settings looks more than good enough and is super responsive. As you can see from the gameplay footage here, we do get some jumps around, but the frame time stays mostly under 20 and it bounces between 40 and 60 frames per second. So on the Steam Deck screen, it does look absolutely gorgeous and there is no issues at all here. But if you want to stop that jumping around, then capping it at 40 or 50 frames per second is definitely the best way to go. There you have it. I hope you enjoy your time in Outriders and I really hope that this has got you guys up and running. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.